Rob Cardwell, here's a look at some of the day's top stories. The Virginia Department of Education is sharing an update on student test scores. Governor Glenn Youngkin sharing details related to third through eighth graders. That's the group said to have suffered the most from learning loss during the pandemic. According to data from the Virginia Department of Education, reading scores for that group improved for 70% of school districts in the Commonwealth. Meanwhile, math scores also improved 75%. And additionally, the VDOE data suggests that chronic absenteeism was reduced by 16%. The parvirus is affecting pet adoptions at the Richmond Animal League today. The nonprofit organization saying it's temporarily pausing puppy adoptions after two confirmed cases of the virus were reported. Uh, right now, there's a comprehensive plan in place by the shelter's veterinarian to try to protect these animals and, of course, reduce the chance of further spread. That plan includes temporarily closing dog adoptions, thoroughly disinfecting all dog kennels, and monitoring for symptoms. The RAL did say that cats and dogs that are in foster care can still be adopted. And now here's Tom. All right, Rob, thanks a lot. Enjoying some beautiful weather this morning, starting out in the 50s. Today we expect mostly sunny, cool, dry, about 78 for your high. Overnight tonight, right into Thursday morning in the 50s again, maybe even a couple degrees cooler yet. So remaining cool, mid 50s, and the look at your seven day forecast. We slowly get back into those 80s by Friday, but look at those overnight lows, still pretty comfortable right into the weekend. And then daytime highs get back to that 90 range starting on Monday from CBS 6, the Weather Authority. I hope you have a great afternoon or great morning morning.